there's so many different things that could have been going on there. Yeah, and see, the, you see him hit her. So, so I have to stress that we don't know, God forbid he didn't, but we don't know if it went to that you know, stage. But oh God, I, I, see, that's part of it why I, I don't want to laugh because in a way it's not funny if, he, if, if it's that type of scenario. But I can understand his anger though. Because right. that's his wife and she's cheating on him again. He said, listen, so it's almost like he thought, okay, I forgive you the first time. We're going to work on this and let's do it. And then he catches her again. It's because, okay, that's it. Why would you keep doing this to me kind of thing? But why would he stay in the relationship after he found her in a hotel the first time? <laughs> that's a deal breaker for me. There and it would go. be a deal breaker for my lovely wife, I'm sure. There you go. You know, and so regardless of how... To me, if he's being abusive to her, I do agree she should leave or try to find yeah. a way to leave. But don't Absolutely. put yourself in the position to be in an even worse position by him finding yeah. out if he's an abusive time. person. Abusive, mm-hmm. in my opinion, or what I've thought of, or I guess, of what I've heard, I think men or women that are in abusive relationships physically like that, I don't uh-huh. think they would go out and have an affair because they would fear what the person that's being abusive to them would do. See what I'm saying? Well, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. So she feels comfortable in the relationship. Yes. Say, I, you know, he, he, he just there. He's my husband. And if I feel to do some fruity stuff on the side, I, I can do that. And I'm going to get caught. And, and, but now she's upset. She's realizing, oh, he really mad this time. And he caught me. I didn't think he was going to catch me. And, oh, I really messed up. Cause he was saying to her, tell anybody what you done. <laughs> It's a crazy oh, no. video. I mean, it's crazy. And to me, if if she's done that before, how many, quote, friend, which was something I was going to post online, <laughs> he said something that was very truthful to me. Oh, Any God. female friend that I, as a man, have, my wife knows yeah. who they are. It's yeah. not, I don't yeah. have to say, oh, well, I'm just talking to somebody. Yeah. Every person that I know that is a whether they're young or older or whatever yeah. I can yeah. easily I talk about my wife all the time so they understand exactly. hey he's married and hey it's right. everything is he's fine they don't even think about me uh, saying hey you know I saw K Rose at dinner with someone and it wasn't his wife yeah. none of that even happens yeah. and that's, it. that's how but then he said to her she's telling him they're just friends okay <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, he's not. No, no, people, you have to watch it. I tell you, I am laughing. But the, like I said, the bit that I did, all of it was questionable and a little amusing. But the bit at the end, I was like, oh my God. Because he just said to Elizabeth, you go to hell because you're a garden tool. <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought, oh no. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. Said, that one was, uh, and, and, and to me, just because of oh, how God. upset he was, I can understand yeah. him being really, really, really that upset. Exactly. Uh, I don't that know. That shows he cares, isn't it? That shows he does love his wife. Because if it was a husband who didn't love his wife, he'd be like, you know what? Later's to you. Because you just keep doing this to me and I don't care no more. <laughs> well, I don't think, again, just depending on the situation, if I'm doing something that negative in my relationship to cause my... Um, the other person in the relationship to look for someone else to find comfort with. There's something going <laughs> on with me, so I'll give me myself that. Uh, but, yeah, but, but hold on, maybe she's just nasty in it. She just, you know, she and just it, it could be. But I mean, he may have the, his relationship with her may have just been, "Hey, I'm just gonna buy you, buy you, buy you stuff," and he's not giving her any emotional support. Do you no, know? Does that, that make sense? Married. Yeah, but he married her, so he should have realized, okay, maybe that ain't what she wanted, and I should have let her go about her business then. Because if if the two of them ain't on the same wavelength, oh, it's a hot mess. It well, is a it, hot you know, mess. Disaster has happened. Not even waiting to happen. Disaster has happened now, <laughs> isn't it? Because she's cheated twice. <laughs> so she obviously don't want to be with him. <laughs> well, those are the times she got caught. Let me throw that little caveat well, in there, yeah. okay? Mm-hmm. We don't want to say no more because, like I said, we don't know the backstory, people. But you got to tell us what you think. Because when I saw that video, I was like, "Oh, this guy is serious." I'm like, "Wow, okay, I understand you're angry, but the fact that he <laughs> he recorded it and then he just posted <laughs> he posted it online for her to get blasted 
worldwide. Okay, that's exposure, but not in a good way. And that's an emotional reaction just from his standpoint of being angry. I would prefer, in my opinion, I would prefer him do that than actually physically do something. Well, yeah, if he got to get it out and that's his yeah. emotion, I suppose it's better to do that. But still, that, that video's out there for, for eternity now. He can't retract that. And it's probably <laughs> got a, a just a ridiculous number of hits, too. Oh, my God. I just thought, oh, my God. I d- uh, people, at Ask Around Show, you know what to do. Tell us what you think. Cause, mm, mm, mm. But you see now, link two, Carol's Now, okay, flipping the script just a little bit. This next link, I put it in because I know we're talking about mummies, boys, and daddies, girls. But some people are just off. Okay, seven ways to spot a psychopath. Now, look, you could be spoilt to the heavens or you could have had a relatively normal upbringing. But if you're crazy, you're crazy. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just going to come out. And he says, psychopaths, sociopaths and narcissists, which you mentioned earlier, look just like everyone else. And the odds are alarmingly high that you or someone you know has encountered one of these cunning social predators. Okay, people, we are posting for you to see, just so you get to know that just in case you ain't sure if you got a crazy, this might be something for you to look at. <laughs> because I'll, they're charming. Now, a lot, of, a lot of them, especially narcissistics as well, they're very charming. You know, they start off with that and then... There's an underlying tension there. You might say something to them, especially if you ain't complimenting them on their appearance or something like that. And there's, they can sort of switch it on and off, which I find a little creepy. <laughs> a little creepy, okay. Well, yeah, you know, and you just think, mm, I don't really want to be messing with someone. And, and oh, number two, they try to manufacture negative reactions. Mm. Well, and, and does that mean I'm just trying to get Avani to... I'm just going to say something out of whack just so yeah. I can get a reaction from Avani just to see yeah. how she reacts. Yeah, just left field because you might be having a perfectly normal conversation with them and then all of a sudden they might just say something really nasty or you'll be like, okay, where did that come from? And you're looking at them thinking, why would you say something? That's how you know someone's a little kooky. People, be warned. Especially at this season of Christmas, you know the, you know what they say, the freaks come out at night, I say the crazies come out now. Okay, because jeez, man, especially when they got you in the close confines. Oh, I must tell you this before I go to the next one, Kate Rose. I have to tell you this, right? <sighs> this is why I got a thing about Christmas, because I don't know if you have this in America, but over here, everything is very expensive. Like, if you wanted to travel around and you're not driving, if you want a cab or anything, and, and I used to find that there's times I have been caught being somewhere, like staying somewhere over Christmas, like say if I got invited for Christmas somewhere and obviously you don't spend that much time with these people anyway, that's always a bad idea, people. Let me just tell you that now. If you ain't never spent time with somebody, please don't go to them be the first time you spend a long period of time in that house with someone as, as Christmas. Because if you can't get away, oh, hell, you are going to be really stressed. You have, you have put about six shows into the last <laughs> two minutes. But keep going, keep going. Okay. Uh, no, but I have to, I have to, I have to lay this out because this has happened to me and boy, I will never do that again. Let me tell you, if you get stuck, because don't get me wrong, because you don't want to say no, you know, so you get invited, but you suddenly realize, hold on, I don't know these people very well. And I've gone to spend Christmas Day with them. And then, it, you know, all hell breaks loose, isn't it? You've got the crazy uncle and you've got the really weird aunt and you've got the, the mummy's boy type di- dynamic. Oh, listen, I saw that all in one family on one day. I wanted to get out, and you know I realized. Oh, oh now, okay. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me slow <laughs> down the car because the car is about. It's we're at a, we're like Mach five right now because of what I want to make sure that we do is what we're talking about today. So let's make sure we kind of re- we're talking about mommies, boys, and daddies, girls. Okay, and so you are getting ready to to get firsthand reporting. Uh-huh. On a mama's boy experience yes. that you yes. had. And when one thing I wanted to agree with you on, really, I wanted to agree with you on. There is no way you should, in a relationship, whatever the relationship is that you're having with or, or whoever you're with, mm-hmm. you should not make your first overnight or extended stay experience on a holiday with their family uh-huh. or yours, uh-huh. for that matter. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. I agree much. with you. I wanted to make sure I said that. That is a 100% agreement from K. Rose. You, See, now you only know these things when you've been through it. Oh, 
I, see, I didn't actually go through it, but I will agree. I agree with you 100%. Just going to visit family on holidays is hard enough. But you can, you have an escape hatch. When you go visit on that day, you can leave. But if you're staying there, but go ahead. I'm, but man. I was stuck because I stayed, right? And I thought, oh, damn, I didn't want to go home. And you see, the thing is over here, the buses ain't running, the tubes ain't running. If you want a taxi, you wait forever. And if you do get it, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. On a holiday. But you know, yeah, on the holiday. So they're trying to they're trying to charge you like triple the price, sort of thing. And you're just like, oh, damn, I'm stuck, kind of thing. So the reason why I wanted to mention that, sorry, people, is <laughs> but it's just bringing back so many memories. Is because I suddenly realised, uh oh, I'm trapped. And if you see the transformation in the guy with his mother, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. He turned into a little five year old again, and it was just I couldn't believe it. I was just like, wow. And the thing is, what I noticed is that she was very condescending with him and she she would not acknowledge him and she didn't really give him much attention so he just spent the whole day he started getting really silly you know what people do if they can't get your attention one way they will just find something remember i talked about someone who he did he was always going into crime because eventually he realized when i'm bad my mother takes notice of me if i behave she ain't interested Mm -hmm. kind of things this one was doing another version of that basically he he reverted from being a so-called adult. I mean, that's questionable, but anyway. <laughs> he reverted from being a supposed adult into this little five-year-old. And I remember looking at him thinking, wow, this is how you carry around your parents. This is how you are, man. Like, Whoa, well, I don't want to. He, and I'm, I'm going to give you really first-hand dynamic as far as I what I think. If you bring a person that you're in a relationship to, into your family situation during some kind of a holiday situation. First of all, that person is foreign to all of your other relatives. And so <laughs> yeah. they don't know the person and they're, they're sizing them up. And so you're putting yourself in a bad situation just to begin with, with that. But then if you've got a mama's boy and you figure out that he is mama yeah. is jealous of you as a woman Oh, oh. And she's really going to be acting a fool uh-huh. because it's a holiday and then you brought her to the holiday. Yeah, she was really nasty to me. She was looking me up and down and trying to say, oh, you know, you, you shouldn't really be here kind of thing. Why are you here? <laughs> you know, I mean, and I remember thinking, look, your son invited me. Why well, means wishing I didn't come. Let me be real. But I didn't say that. I just kept that in my mind. And you know, you're looking at someone and you're thinking, mm. I can see you just want to be a heifer from the get go. But it's all right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to me if i came in there with an attitude and i didn't want to help and i didn't want to do nothing then i get it but i wasn't coming in there with princess ways but so he, why? he created this dynamic he did he oh did he it. definitely did oh he definitely did. you got it you hit the nail on the head spot on you definitely could. he did and i remember looking at him thinking oh no way and i even told his sister and his sister said she told him you're scaring her off with all your antics because <laughs> he wow. was trying to yeah he was he, he, uh, if, uh, people I could I could really go into it now. Okay. He was on some foolishness from the get-go. And you know when you just start seeing all these little things and they start adding up to a big fat zero, you're like, okay, no, this ain't going to work for me. And when I took flight, oh, let me tell you, I hit the road. I did not look back. If I was Superman, my cape would have been flying because I was going so fast. <laughs> but there's a Supergirl <laughs> now, remember? Super there you girl. go, Supergirl. So, listen, I would have been gone. I told you already, listen, Roadrunner ain't got nothing on me. Okay. Because <laughs> meet me, I'm gone. Bye bye. Well, and and that's one question I want to ask. As as you gave us basically that 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 story, okay. how because you're logical, Avani. Okay, yeah. you are logical, Avani. Well, how did you put yourself in that position? Being logical, Avani. Did you miss something and you didn't realize something before you got no, there? I was trying to give- no, I was trying to give him the benefit of that. I didn't want to go, but I okay. going to look, it's going to look really bad if you just bail out on him. Because he's one of them people, he was coming across as, oh, please, I really want you there, really needy. And I thought, all oh, right, give it a go, even though it bets my better judgment. You there know, we go. I, That's what I was going to say. A logical Avani just just escaped, escaped at that moment. Because logical Avani doesn't even go. Well, see, you know when you as, you, as you get older, you get stronger, you get wiser. Right, right, right. But I was already wise at that moment. But I just got wiser. And the thing is, I was already going through some stresses at that time. So it was, like, nice to supposedly feel, you know, 
included, yes. if you like, yes. and part of. So that was what it was for, for me to say, okay, let me try and interact with the world again and try and move on with, life, with my life. But in the back of my head, I kind of knew that, you know what, me and him ain't really going to go nowhere because he was really expressing something.